Hello, this is Chaim Shapiro. Welcome to the third installment of LinkedIn in four minutes or less. Today, we're going to talk about setting your industry on LinkedIn and making sure that your location is set up correctly. Once again, go into the edit mode of your profile by clicking on your little picture. We're once again going to go into that little pencil that we talked about over here a couple of days ago. If I click on this, it gives me the opportunity to edit things a little further down than the name and the headline that we did the other day. And you will see here, actually, it gives me the opportunity to choose my industry and my profession here on LinkedIn. You're actually locked into the options that LinkedIn gives you. So you can't just put in whatever you want. You need to actually use LinkedIn to give you some suggestions as to what you want and click on the one that is most accurate and most similar to what it is that you do, even if it's not perfect, because people do searches based on that. So it's important to come up with something that is as close to your profession or your industry as you possibly can be. LinkedIn is promising that they're going to be adding more industry options as time goes on. So for now, just try to get as close as you possibly can to your industry if it's not there perfectly. Okay, when it comes to location, you'll see here, if you scroll down, I have United States and I have my zip code. And he's here, I chose the New York City metropolitan area when I actually live in a little city called West Hempstead, New York. The reason I did that is because most people are aware of New York City. Very, very few folks, except for people who live out on Long Island, have ever heard of West Hempstead. So when people look at my profile and they see New York, they relate to that a lot more than they would to West Hempstead, which is why I chose the New York City metropolitan area, the larger New York City area, rather than choosing West Hempstead on my profile.